Hey all, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. Now this will be for the 18th to the 24th of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, Scorp. What have you got, Scorp? Oh, they all just wanted to jump out. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, you've got seven of wands, stand up for yourself and your beliefs, have confidence, uh, choose your battles wisely. With the seven of wands, I mean, this is all about, obviously, that, standing up for yourself. So I feel like you either have or you will stand up for yourself. There was a situation where something didn't turn out. It could have been a lost opportunity. It could have been a distraction. It could have been um, a missed opportunity. Um yeah and you've got the magician card now this is about manifesting something that you want so now you're working on manifesting what it is you want so on the table you've got the renewal card which is the same as the judgment card so that's all about reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness you need to head in a new direction you get clarity on your life purpose and in your heart you know what you need to do I feel like for some of you, it could be an absolution. Maybe there was some sort of absolution um, in this situation. It could have mean also um, that you made a final decision. You had a wake-up call. It could mean that you made a change. Um, but for others, it could mean that you forgive. Tell me more. Judgment card, Scorpio. So I feel like there was some sort of ending to something, possibly, that you wanted to, you forgave the person, you got some clarity. I feel like you knew that you needed to have this, I guess, what is it, um, decision. You needed to make this decision. You knew what you needed to do and you decided to head in a new direction. So you could have walked away from this person or you will walk away from this person. Um, or if it's a situation that's got nothing to do with love, I feel like, it's, I mean, because in the picture there's like a family, right? So maybe you just had something happen that you now need to head in a new direction, you know? But trust, you, trust your heart. That's all I've got to say. I feel like there was a lack of firm foundation in this situation. There could have been a lot of obstacles. Or well, there are a lot of obstacles. But somebody, I mean, you need to trust your intuition because there could be deception. There could be secrets. There could be, you know, it could be causing you nightmares, dreams, you know, all of those things with the moon card. Um, and I feel like it's a situation that you're really unsure about. You don't know all the facts, you know, and I feel like there's things that you feel like you don't know. Hmm. that's what I'm feeling I feel like there's things you don't you feel like you don't know 
I don't feel like you trust this person either. For some of you. But at the same time, you don't really look. You don't want to move on, but you need to stand your ground, like that card said. You need to stand your ground. So if someone's doing something that is not okay with you, stand your ground. It's going to take strength, but you've got the Ace of Wands. Do something passionate or you have some new opportunity. There'll be something that is you're very passionate about. could mean... Um, you know, a relationship that's blossoming and all about sex. But I feel like with the King of Swords, you got some clarity. You got some truth. Somebody, when it says renewal, I feel like somebody, and it's weird because of the way I place the cards. So I've got the Moon card and the Firm Foundation over here with the original renewal card up here, right? So I feel like, and all, and I mean, even half of the card, all I can see, and I'm, and for some reason it's caught my attention, is the renewal word. Because on the normal tarot deck, it's about, it's a judgment card, right? So you're making a judgment about something. For me, though, I feel like it's a renewal. Like you wanted to give this person an, or this situation another shot. Even if you don't think there's a firm foundation and you don't trust them and you think there's secrets and whatever, you need to trust your intuition. But I feel like you both love each other. I feel like you're very fiery and passionate and it takes strength to, to get through this or it will take strength to get through this. It will take forgiveness at the same time. They need to come in and be honest with the King of Swords. Like, if they don't, it will just end in a breakup. Like, they need, it, it will it will be, they won't get a second chance or a fifth chance or a whatever chance. Like, I feel like they need to come in correct. They need to come in right. So they need to be communicating in a healthy manner. They need to tell you what exactly has gone on. And this could be past, present, future for some people. But I feel like they need to come in correct because if they don't, you're not going to give them a second chance. You will cut it. You'll make a final decision and you will move in a new direction. And that's what I feel like. Okay. you got the sun card. So whatever goes on, whether you go back with this person or you don't, it's going to end well. Like the sun card with you, like it's, you, you're going to be fine. You're going to have success. You're going to, you know, if things going to work out the way it's meant to. Scorpio. Yeah. So get out of your head because you don't need to. Even if something doesn't work out, it's a missed opportunity or a distraction or, you know, somebody had lack of direction even. But it's going to take strength. So... But just keep having, keep having, having hope, I guess, because you have the sun card. You keep trying to not trust your intuition and you also keep trying to avoid this change um, with the tower card in reverse. It's like you need to do some work on you because you're trying to hold on to something that maybe you're not meant to. As I said, unless they want to do the work on them and they want to come in correct and be honest and have honest communication, then there is no hope for them. Yeah. Like you need to take back your own power. This There was some sort of options this person had, whether it's people, things, places, whatever this is, right? They had options. Or they think you have options. So they try to manipulate you. Or they try to manipulate you because they've got options. There's somebody has options. Maybe they just don't want you being with someone else. 
but maybe also you need to detach from someone who is like the devil who's codependent or has addictions drug sex money alcohol gambling maybe it's a toxic relationship you need to detach from be a social butterfly get out there because people will always find you attractive Now, you're showing up in your own reading, and I feel like it's in reverse with the King of Cups because you could be in a situation that's violent, really crafty, violent. As I said, they may be emotionally manipulative to you. They may... I don't feel like either they're not trustworthy or you don't trust them. I feel like this person is not completely trustworthy, no. And... I'll need to get more cards to clarify that. But, I mean, it's the opposite of someone who's loyal, trustworthy, you know, does the right thing, devoted, you know, all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, the King of Cups is your card. That is Scorpio's card. Um, so it could just be you needing to possibly just do some work on yourself right now. It doesn't have to mean that, you know, someone is that way. But it could just mean, besides the not trustworthy, not honourable, devoted, blah, blah, blah. The other the other side of that card would be that you're a Scorpio, that is the Scorpio card, so just, and it's in reverse, to me, reverse says you need to do some work on you. So at the moment, maybe just do some work on you. Maybe you need to have a fresh start. Maybe you need to also put your fears aside. Maybe it's in reverse because you, you feel that. It's more so that you feel that you can't trust this person. They're showing up as the king and maybe they can't. You know, maybe you can't trust them. But at the same time, you need to have a fresh start because you trust yourself. So even though you've been in this situation, I feel like take a leap of faith because not everyone will be the same as that person. You know what I mean? So you will have the end of challenging times because you are moving on. You are moving away from the situation. Uh, Things are going to start looking up. You're moving to a more peaceful place. It's the end of some sort of depression or illness. Oh, give me one second. Okay. I mean, you're looking at your life with a long-term view. Um, with the two of wands and that's future planning contemplating you're making two choices you're assessing your life like is this what you want there may be some sort of communication that's going to come in but you've also got the hangman so you are letting things you've got to let things go like you can't take the bagging into a new relationship and you know it's also about having the wisdom from this and you know having some enlightenment to know that you know it's best that you move on also work on manifesting what it is you do want yeah work on manifesting what you want Not what you don't want. You've also got the Seven of Swords, and I feel like you had this one before in reverse. I can't remember. One that somebody did. Might have been another reading. But Seven of Swords in reverse is somebody that's got some self-deceit or they're keeping secrets um, themselves. You could have felt like this person left you out in the cold, but I feel like you're recovering from that. And with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse as well, it's like somebody's not learning that's how i that's how i view that card i just feel like they're not learning and you've got to learn so you cannot accept more of the same so maybe by you moving on you're showing that you have learned it's going to take some inner strength though you're definitely doubting yourself is what i'm hearing
yeah, look, this makes you feel exhausted and burnt out and drained. But you've got the sun card again. It's telling you, keep your faith. There is going to be choices that need to be made. And you will need to trust your intuition at the moment you don't. That this person is not your person and it's probably going to end up in a breakup. Trust your intuition, yeah. Stop thinking back about the past. Just look after your heart. Trust your trust yourself as well. Um, do a meditation to make sure you're chakras are all balanced you're not wanting to break cycles but this person is giving to other people and here you are being like a you know a victim really like self-pity dwelling on the negative you know, you've got this emotional confusion, grief, you know, feeling abandoned, all this sort of situation. You're not seeing the positives in it either. And that's the, you know, yeah, it didn't work out and you've smashed these cups down here. But you know what? There's other opportunities up here. There's other cups up here, you know. And normally the, what's up there will be better. Maybe you've got more in the cup than you had down before and you only had a little bit in the bottom, you know. Maybe you ran out of wine, that was the last of the wine, and the wine in the new cup is better than the old wine. I don't know. Whatever it is. <coughs> Maybe you got yourself some Moscato instead of some horrible red wine. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, school. Turn to your circle of support. Turn to your friends. Like, don't give the relationship any more of a chance. Don't work on it. There is lack of chemistry. I feel like you're probably not attracted to that to this person. Um, or the person that they are. I feel like there's no trust. And also feel like, you know, there's no real passion either. But you need to love yourself first. like there is deception and I mean that's come up enough times to say that there is Scorpio. time for a nap and community as I said you have people around you you know, let's just see what time for a nap says. Turn to your circle of support, like I said. So... Upright, this card, Time for a Nap, was all about um, like resting and, and rejuvenating after you, you, know, you feel exhausted, which I've already pointed out. You do. Um, you, know, you need to take some time to rest and recuperate and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, it's also talking about if you're with somebody, then take some time out to just be with that person. And don't try to force anything. Go with the flow. Let things, you know, heal on their own. Patience is the key. Um, like withdraw from action in your relationship. Give it a rest so your love and connection become, become rejuvenated. Even if you are a divine pair, maybe you need some time apart. I know with other readings we've had that you're a divine, you're a divine pair, but maybe you're a karmic.
I feel like the situation, like it's hard to get out of your comfort zone. It is. And like you have a lot of memories together. <coughs> but I don't think if you break up, you want to get back with this person. And I feel like because you know and you're frustrated and there is a lack of honour in this situation with this person. Like maybe, as I said, I feel like this person is not doing the right thing. They don't want to purify what they need to. There's, they're just a bit of an illusion, really. And I feel like in the end it's just going to cause you sorrow. Okay. So, yeah, somebody doesn't want to either deal with a heartbreak or break up from somebody. They don't want to deal with either of that. Even though they know this person disregards their boundaries, they are selfish, they feel like they're entitled, they're cheaters, manipulators, they try to control you, all those sort of things. That's They're a narcissist. But at the same time, you don't want to move on. Yeah, look, you don't love yourself enough to want to get rid of whatever isn't right for you. And you do enjoy time together, like you enjoy spending time with this person. You both enjoy spending time together. So on the table, though, this person has some sort of addiction, as I've said to you, whether it's codependency or whether it's drug, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, multiple ones, who knows. But somebody... Definitely watches, stalks, maybe they're trying to gaslight you. I feel like though maybe you don't choose relationships or you're doing it for the right reason. Somebody isn't doing it for the right reason. I feel like it's not a healthy, balanced relationship. Um, are they only in it for sex? But someone will try and communicate with you. Even if you walk away, they're going to try and communicate with you. You might be missing out on other options because you're too busy focusing on this one. So you're passing up options. But I feel like I'm hearing that they thought the grass was greener as well. It's not. Don't make decisions based on fleeting emotions. Don't overreact. I mean, there's things that trigger and something could have triggered you. But I feel like you're not manifesting what you want. And there's a lack of abundance in this situation. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.